Quiet. When I was little, my mummy took me to play with my friends. We walked through a wood to the playground. Wooly came too. We get to the special clearing. The wood was quiet. The wood had trees. The trees were tall. I liked looking high up in the trees. They touched the sky. When the wind blew, the leaves swished. When the wind stopped blowing, the leaves stopped rattling, and it was very quiet. Some leaves had fallen off the trees. We walked on the leaves. Hi, hi, can you kick them? I kicked the leaves. Mummy kicked the leaves too. We kicked the leaves. It was fun. We made lots of noise. When we stopped kicking leaves, it was very quiet. On the way to see my friends, we heard a roaring noise. There was a waterfall. The water fell over and rushed and gushed into a river. The waterfall made so much noise, we shouted. When we left the waterfall, it was quiet. We climbed steps up a little hill. Timmy and Louise and Angel should be here soon, said Mummy. From the top of the hill, we could see a ship in the trees. We made lots of noises. Timmy! Angel! And Louise! Is there anyone there? When we stopped shouting, it was very quiet. We found some planks. We'll wait here, said Mummy. Timmy, Louise and Angel will be here any minute, so why don't we wait here for them? I didn't like waiting. It was quiet, very quiet. I didn't like the quiet. Hey Tig, the quiet can be boring and the quiet can be scary too. The quiet can make you think there's nothing there. But the quiet isn't quite as quiet as you may think. Shh, you just have to listen a little more. And when you listen, you can hear lots of friendly sounds. A bird singing. A pigeon cooing. Dog barking, woof woof. The leaves tinkling in the breeze. A twig breaking. <laughs> That's your mummy. So go for it, Tig. Have fun in the quiet and listen to all the different sounds. You might even hear Timmy and Louise before mummy does. Yes, I thought. I listened to all the different sounds. <laughs> and then I heard the sound I'd been waiting for. Mummy, I can see your tummy, Louise and Angel. Oh, right, let's go and find them then. Hi! Hi. Angel, tummy and Louise. Hello! <laughs> we explored all the adventure play things. We made lots of noise in the wood. <laughs> There wasn't any quiet while we played. When Whirly slid down the slide, Angel's mummy got a shot. It's only a toy spider. When we walked home, it was quiet again in the wood. I like the quiet and I love Whirly. We've been scared since we were here. The fun fair, when I was little, my mummy and daddy took me and my friend Angel to a fun fair. Wooly came too. Inside it was very, very big. Inside it was very, very noisy. I've never been to a fun fair before. Angel liked the fun fair. Angel was excited. Light flashed! Roundabouts went round and round. Chairs flew up in the air. 
people were bounced up and down. Noises came from everywhere. Right, girls. What ride do you want to go on first? Angel wanted to ride on everything. Who wants to go on the alligators? Me, shouted Angel. Mummy took Angel on the alligator. I watched with Daddy. The alligator whooshed out and whooshed. Angel squealed. Angel loved the alligator. It was very, very noisy. Who was riding the Dodgems? said Mummy. Me, shouted Angel. I didn't want to ride in the Dodgems. They were too noisy. Mummy took Angel on the Dodgems. The music went boom, boom, boom. The Dodgems bumped and bashed. I don't like the Dodgems. Angel loved the Dodgems. Angel wanted to go on the teacups next. You want to go home, Tig? I know. Let's go and wait in the cafe for Mum and Angel. Daddy took me to a little cafe. There's a juice, Tig. I wanted to go home. Hey, Tig, Funfairs are noisy. Funfairs worry me too. I never know where the noises are coming from. Music, squeals, whizzing and whirls. I never know which way to look next. Hey, Tig, fun fairs are fun places and you can have fun here too. I like to know where all the different noises are coming from. Doof, doof, doof. <laughs> look, that's the rock and roll music from the Dodgems. Wee, woohoo! Wheels are from the flying chairs. Honk, honk, ting, ting, dilly, 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 bob, 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 zob, zob, ding, ding, wee, wee. That's the little roundabout. <laughs> the glittery, clattery noises is the cup and saucer. Hey, Angel's having fun. That dancing music is from. The carousel roundabout with the horses. So now you know where the noises come from. Have fun. What's first? Doof, doof, honk, honk, diddly ding, woo, woo. Now I knew what all the noises were, I want to have fun. Can I go on the roundabout, Daddy? Honk, honk. I went on the honk, honk roundabout with Angel. Beep, 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 beep. Beep, beep, beep. We went on lots more rides, but best of all was the carousel. When the man saw Wooly, he said, Oh! He's only my toy spider, I said. And off we went. I like riding on the carousel. I like the fun fair. I love Wooly. We've been scared since we were three. The cloud. When I was little, my mummy took me to a big, big shopping centre. Willie came too. Mummy gave me some money. Well, let's see what I've got in my hand. <gasps> Choose something to buy, she said. A shiny penny, so you can spend that on something. There were lots and lots of shops in the shopping centre. I didn't know what to choose. Let's not spend it too quickly though. Let's see what else we can see. In the shopping centre, there was a lady painting faces. She painted a little boy to look like a cat. Mummy said, why not spend your money on a painty face? No, I said. I didn't want to look like a cat. High above all the people rushing, I saw balloons. There we go. I want to buy a balloon, I said. Hi. Let's go and find them, said Mummy. <gasps> oh, look, Tig. 
a man was holding the balloons. Isn't he funny? said Mummy. He's a clown. I didn't think the clown was funny. The clown was scary. He had a big rubbery face and a red nose. I didn't like the scary clown. I want to go home, I said. Come on, said Mummy. Let's have something to eat. Whee! I like the cafe. There is no clown. Mummy bought me fish fingers. Mm. Would you like some ketchup? I had tomato sauce. Down below I saw the clown. The clown looked up and waved. I don't like clowns. Hey Tig, you don't have to like clowns. Clowns are just people with painty faces. Anybody can be a clown. You could be a clown. I could be a clown. Some people think clowns are scary. Some people think clowns are funny. <laughs> Look, that painty faced clown is making everyone laugh. Hey Tig, why don't you be a painty faced clown and make everyone laugh too? Go for it, Tig! Yes, I thought. I want to be a painty faced clown too. Let's go. I finished my fish fingers. I asked Mummy if I could give my money to the face painting lady. Excellent, you're doing ever so well. The face painting lady painted my face like a clown. You're a very funny clown. Thank you very much. Mummy laughed and everyone laughed when they saw me looking like a painty faced clown. <laughs> <laughs> I saw the clown. He wasn't scary. He looked just like me. The clown gave me a balloon. When the clown saw Wooly, he was scared. He's only my toy spider, I said. I like clowns. I love Wooly. We've been scared since we were three. Harvest supper. When I was little, my friend Duncan had a farm. He had a combine harvester. Duncan's daddy had a farm too. Duncan's daddy had a big, big combine harvester. Duncan's daddy had fields that grew things that were harvested by the combine harvester. One day, we went to Duncan's farm for harvest supper. Daddy said, harvest supper was a party. Say yippee for all the things that grew in the farm. Yeehaw! Yeehaw! Harvest Supper Day was the last day of the harvest and the last day for the combine harvester. Wooly came too. Mummy said that all the things for the supper were grown on the farm. Look, Tig, all the food here for the harvest supper has been grown on the farm. So Wheat for the bread. And apples for the apple juice. Apple for the juice. Right, Tig, why don't you go upstairs and play with Duncan and I'll give the a hand. Duncan was playing on his little farm. I drove the tractor. I collected the hay bales. Deep break for the farmers. Then Duncan's mummy gave us juice and OT flapjacks. Those are OT flapjacks and guess what? The oats are grown here on the farm. Mummy said the OT flapjacks were grown on the farm too. The OT flapjacks were so good. I wanted to see them harvested. Outside, Duncan's daddy drove off on his big, big combine harvester. 
Come on, said Mummy. Harvest time. I wanted to see the Oti Flapjacks. I was so excited. Daddy wanted to make a scarecrow. We watched as Duncan's daddy drove the big, big combine harvester. But I couldn't see any Oti Flapjacks. We watched as the combine emptied grain, but I couldn't see any oaty flapjacks. We watched as straw came out of the back, but I couldn't see any oaty flapjacks. OK, time to make a scarecrow, said Daddy. Where are the oaty flapjacks? Where are the oaty flapjacks? In the kitchen, said Mummy. They grow in the fields. No, just the oats for the oaty flapjacks grow in the fields. No oaty flapjacks. Hey, Tig, it's not nice when you expect to see something and then you don't. No oaty flapjacks. Especially if they're oaty flapjacks. But sometimes, when we don't quite understand, things can get mixed up. But Mummy said, Willie. Mummy said that oats grew in the field, not that oaty flapjacks grew in the field. Oaty flapjacks don't grow, oaty flapjacks are made. Oaty flapjacks are made from the oats that grow. What we can see is the oats that grow being harvested. That's the fun. The oat grains poured into the trailer and then we have the leftover straw dropped out of the combine harvester to make the scarecrow. <laughs> so go for it, Tig. Have some harvest fun. Make a scarecrow. Yes, I thought. I'm going to have some harvest fun now. I'm going to help make the scarecrow. We all collected the leftover straw from the combine harvester. We had fun stuffing old clothes. We tied the stuffed clothes to a pole. We filled an old pillowcase with straw too. Uh -huh. There we go. Right, let's have a wee look. Duncan's mummy drew eyes. I drew a mouth. That's excellent, that's brilliant. We carried the scarecrow back to the farm. We were having the harvest supper in a shed. Daddy popped the scarecrow inside. My hat. Lots of people came to the harvest supper. The giggly lady brought some eggs. Everyone brought something. Vegetables, honey, sunflowers, pictures. My friend Louise brought a picture of a sandcastle. Mummy pinned it up next to my picture of the sea. Duncan's mummy gave us all a corn dolly made of straw. I had one and Louise had one. Duncan's daddy finished harvesting. Everything had been harvested. Now we could have our harvest supper. I told Louise that the harvest supper was all grown on the farm. Everything that we're eating is grown on the farm. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, can I propose a toast to the farmer Duncan and to the harvest? The harvest! After supper, it was time to take our scarecrow to the fields. When I looked for my corn dolly, Louise had taken it. Louise, this is my corn dolly. That is yours. Yours, mine. The one nearest to my bread, that's Louise. Lu Louise, that's my corn dolly. No, it isn't, it's mine. Louise had taken my corn dolly. Daddy, Louise has my corn dolly. No, but isn't that your one? No, that's Louise's. But they're exactly the same. No, no, no. It's just a little thing. Don't worry about it. Hey, Tig, 
When you know you are right, it's not fair that someone else thinks you are wrong. Louise has my car, Dolly. But Louise is quite sure she's right too. Who's right? Who's wrong? Well, who can say? Just everyone looks in different ways. Whee! One way you'll see the darkness, one way you'll see the light. Depends which way you're looking, if it's sunrise or the night. One way you'll see the waves break, one way you'll see the sand. Depends which way you're looking, if you're by the sea or land. Hey, stop spoiling all the fun and messing up the day. Is getting on and joining in the play. There's right and wrong and wrong and right, and what will be will be. Now, no more angry feelings, let's agree to disagree. One way you'll see a rainstorm, one way the sun will shine. Depends which way you're looking, if it's raining or it's fine. One way you'll see the grass wave, one way the rustling leaves. Depends which way you're looking, if you're in the grass. One thing, and Louise does another. But I didn't want to mess up the day. I wanted to join in the fun. Daddy put up the new scarecrow in a field. The scarecrow might frighten crows, but the scarecrow seemed scared of Wooly. It's only a toy spider. and harvest supper. I like my corn dolly and I love Wooly. We've been together since we were three. Shadows. When I was little, I didn't like the dark. Wooly didn't like the dark either. So Daddy bought me my very own light. The light came in a box. A lamp. A lamp. Ooh. That looks lovely, Ty. Should we go and set it up? Yeah, why don't we go and plug it in in your bedroom? Let's see what your new lamp is. Daddy okay. plugged the light in. in your bed. Then we turn the light on. Turn it off. On. And then off again. Mummy, can I make something with the box? the box? I like the box that the light came in. Mummy said I could make something with the box. I made a puppet show. I painted inside the box. I didn't have puppets for my puppet show. When Mummy finished her work, she made me puppet birds. The birds were so sweet. She had little beaks and feather wings. The puppet birds could fly. Do you think they're friends? No, brother and sister. Oh, that's nice. At bedtime, I switched on my new light. Daddy and Mummy came to see my puppet show. Hey, little Jackie birds, sitting on the wall. The puppet show was all about two birds who sat on the wall. The birds flew away and then came back. Come back, Tweety. Daddy and Mummy liked the puppet show. I snuggled down with Wooly. And all your lights will stay on until you fall asleep. Mummy left my new light on. Mummy left the big light on too. Then I went to sleep. That night I woke up. All the lights were off, but my very own light was on. It glowed. I felt safe. But when I looked up at the ceiling, something was new. I saw hairy monsters. I hid under the bedclothes. I peeped out. 
The hairy monsters must tell there. I wanted to run away. Hey, Tig. Things can look scary at night because things can look different. The light and the dark play tricks. You just need to look again to find out what something really is. So I wonder what those hairy monsters could be. Let's peep. There's your new light. And look, just above the new light is your fluffy sheep mobile. And over there is... Oops! Big hairy monsters! Round and round they go. Just like the sheep. Because that's what the hairy monsters are. Just the shadows of fluffy sheep. So nothing scary, just shadows. You can make shadows too, Tig. You can make your very own shadow puppet show. Go for it, Tig. No more scaries. Yes, I thought. No monsters, just shadows. I'll have fun making my own shadow puppet show. Mummy and Daddy came to see what I was doing. When they saw a big hairy monster with eight legs walking across the ceiling, they went, <gasps> ah! There's a little guy spider on the roof. I like my new light. What's this take? I like making shadow puppet shows. I love Willy. 